For this month's members painting challenge, we use this photo reference. How we're gonna use the photo reference to make your own version of the painting? There's many options. I'm gonna show you one of my options. First, I'm gonna show you the paper that I'm using. I'm using this cold press watercolor paper from Paul Rubens. I'm gonna keep this cow the way uh, it is. And I'm going to remove this white house in the back, mix these three colors. Now I'm gonna put the color in, I'm gonna leave the color for the ear to be a little lighter. And now put the color into the face. So right now I don't have to think about their details. So it's easy for me to just place into the, that the color mostly looks similar. Like that, the lake over here, and okay, the back, like that. And I make it a little lighter and have it blending. So basically, this is the, the space for the cow. And the cow, you can modify it to a different look if you want, okay? Because the contrast is very important between the main object and the surrounding. While we're waiting for that to be uh, dry, I'm going to start add the little color in onto the, the hill over here. And maybe a little bit green like this. Some dry areas on the hill. Spend a couple minutes on. Oh, that's good. I like that color. If you like it, and keep it. Some texture is important for the foreground because otherwise it doesn't look like at the front to have some uh, contrast. So I even have a little bit darker. Something need to be at the foreground. So just keep it like that for now. I'm planning on using lifting up to create the mist uh, in the middle ground over here. So I don't need to worry about how the color would be. So I would do that as the part of by adjusting colors. So I just have this a little darker warm color. So I'm going to first put it into the uh, mid ground. So for the tail, I can cover the tail because the tail will be darker uh, than the mid ground. So I can paint it on the top. So I made the mid ground a little bit solid for now. Uh, this the first try. I'm gonna just add this blue color. Just right, put it in right in here. I'm gonna see. So the the back. I'm trying to see the contour of the back. Okay, good. So as should I said, put the color around it. Are you gonna see that? Uh, the color that you put before you're doing the the surrounding colors. That is only more like uh, testing the water. You're putting the color over there. And you realize that after you have other color around, you're going to see that color actually is just not a big deal. Maybe you thought it's very dark, but at the end, this is not that dark. Okay, I'm going to make some color a little bit darker in the background. So it just mixed with the red and the uh, blue, maybe a little bit, a little bit yellow. I'm going to start putting it right here. And this area need to be darker. And surrounding over here, look at the, the back. Try to painting around uh, the contour of the cow. And coming down over here. And the bottom over here, I'm going to have this color kind of like connected. And the bottom over here, I can paint it right over because uh, I can lift up the legs if I need to. Um, now, I'm gonna get in through over here. Now I need, need to change the color. Make some orange color. So get a little red color over here. And then I'm gonna get some orange color. So as you're doing like this, you maybe start thinking in your head. You maybe change your original plan. You maybe, oh, maybe keep it like this. I have, don't have to make the, the mist. Um, and, and you can, you can change your mind. As the whole uh, watercolor painting process, it is is uh, it's kind of fighting in your head to find a way 
to even better than your original thought. Over here, I'm gonna lift up the color over here. Now at this point, still a little wet up here. I'm gonna add a little uh, gray color in the, the background. So I first gonna do a little kind of sky color, but uh, the day is very, very gray and no sun. So I'm gonna take this color, it's more, looks like the gray, but probably a little bit more red. So like first, I'm gonna paint in the, the far, far space like right here and and coming down over here and now I'm going to put the, the little darker gray like it could be this with a little blue and now I'm gonna have this color it's kind of because it's pretty wet over here and come kind of in between uh, the mid ground and the sky and probably a bit too wet right now. So if I need to come back to give a little bit more and I'll probably do that a uh, little bit later. So I'm gonna have this color, maybe a little bit blue. blue. So think about a little bit blue like this. That's the tree in between. Now this is fine, I think. Now I'm gonna come to do the adjustment. The first thing I'm gonna do is I need to lift up over here, uh, I'm gonna better to change to uh, my flat brush because it takes the color even faster, uh, even though my painting is not that big. Okay, now making sure there's no air inside the brush so you can make it function. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift up the edge over here, I wanna edge a little bit better. So I'm gonna have the edge coming down here we go. Now I'm going to have it up. And then after this adjustment, especially after it's dry, and you can do a lot more changes. And from here, like this, good. Now what I'm going to do, uh, I still want to have some uh, mist coming up from this space. So I'm going to start lifting the color, especially when it's still wet, is a good time. And coming up over here and make it a little bit coming up into the sky. Like that. A little bit coming up like this. And they actually create some interesting uh, motion. I don't know what that would be. I don't know, I've never seen a scene like this. But we're gonna see how it look. Uh, and maybe also around the cow. I'm gonna have it a little bit lighter too. Around the cow, making this whole area actually can be a little bit lighter. So the cow can stand out like this, okay. Have it come up like this, good. So the head of the cow will show. And why are the back of the cow? And actually create, keeping the contrast over there. And let's see. I'm gonna also gonna lift up the color for the legs. I'm gonna break that a little bit. and put this up like that. I think that, that looks fine on the edge over here. And why we're gonna do this, I'm going to uh, brighten up the hill. And maybe too much. I'm gonna add a little blue colors and make that. When you're looking at the colors, actually very important to see how light, how dark is that color. And you don't want to have the the same uh, uh, two similar uh, value uh, colors uh, you, to the mid-ground and you're gonna merge it together too much. So probably going to just keep it like that. The cow is already dry, so I can start working into the cow. The foreground over here still need to have a little bit texture. Uh, maybe let's get a little bit texture first and just 
just a little suggestions of a little texture for the uh, just to for the suggestions of oh this is actually put close to us that that is all the message we're gonna give so we don't want to uh, mix up with the foreground and the and the midground and the background so that give it some suggestions but not giving too much of contrast the detail and the contrast are two different things okay now I'm gonna go into the cow right so it's pretty quick. That's good. Now what I want to do, now take a look at the face of the cow. Now you can uh, fine tune it and you don't have to actually do all the details on the cow. Okay, do what you can. It may be not necessary to make the cow showing the eye and, and all the details. And enough suggestions. Okay, the the neck over here also the same color. It's always the same process that you start from the big color and then going into see how the color relations first before you coming into do the do the details. Never jump into the details. Uh, until you have something, a nice balance uh, on the painting. Okay, now I'm coming to that back over here, give a little suggestions of the legs and coming over here, the tail and coming to the back, the tail need to be darker. Um, so I'm gonna give a, a little bit brown colors and coming to the back over here, I wanna show that even a little bit blue colors uh, here, make it even darker. Now, now the cow is very much standing out. Give a little bit orange color on the back, like that. So and now I'm gonna give it a little bit uh, mid-tone into the body, make it a little bit more and convincing and a little bit blue color on the back over here. But compared to the head, though this color is actually not going to be as dark uh, as the head. Let's keep that, that is a little bit clear. It's not the same. So, and that bottom over here should not have so much white. So I'm going to actually soften that just with the water. So that's good. Okay, now I'll give it a little bit more. Um, thinking about that, is there too much detail or too much contrast? And if there is too much, uh, you can stop it there. If not, give a little bit more, if you would, if you can still have a opportunity. Okay. And a little bit darker over here, like that, good. Okay, now I think the cow is good enough for now. Now I want to come back to the middle ground and I'm going to give it a little bit clear details in the mid ground. It's not going to be as clear as the detail at the front, but I want to have a little bit over here. So you don't have to make it in a certain way because all we want to do is to have a little bit more details. However, you want it to suggest it. Actually, that is not so far away. That's all the uh, we try to we try to suggest right so give a little bit over here dry brushes and all at the same time you can use this opportunity to make the contour the edges even look a little bit better okay like this and now going into over here assuming that is a little bit farther away so I'm gonna have it a little bit less maybe something like this that is have a little bit edges over here. And even though it's not much contrast, but it have enough clarity and it will all help. So now coming to the, close to the mist over here. And I think this is good. That's pretty good now. And what I want to do, and the lake over here, I'm gonna make it a little clear because there's some color coming in from the tail. So I can clear a little bit 
Okay, look at the value on the front and the cow and the mid-ground and then the background. Give a little blue colors uh, over here, suggesting there is something that there is just the layers in the background. And also have some warm color, cool colors like that. The fresh color at the front, the darker color, and then to the gray colors. So we can see the space. Uh, if we want to, you still can give a, a little bit, a few more suggestions at the front over here. Like that. So give a little bit of detail. And I see the little opening over here. Actually, I can throw a little bit of earth tone colors in here. So we can actually make it look like the earth. Right, the dirt over here, the mulches. It could be over here and we maybe put a little bit over here like that. Let's take a look at what else we can do. A little bit darker colors for the bottom. And get a little bit red colors. Here we go. A little bit blue. Okay, that's good. And looking at down here, I want to have a little bit clear at the bottom. So there's the legs on this side as surface darker on the bottom of the belly. And I can make that a little bit separated between that. Uh, it's good. Uh, much better. Now I'm going to come in down, look at the face. This side is the shadow side. I'm going to make that the eye over here and the bottom like that. That looks good. And then look at the neck over here. Like that. Now I have a lot more contrast. The foreground and the midground a little bit more separated. So what I'm going to use this uh, one inch flat brush. What I want to do, I'm going to take the, this yellow color first like this, maybe too bright. I'm going to add a little blue color like this. This is good. I'm going to see, I'm going to start over here to, I'm going to cover this area. Let's see. There's a little bit more, a little bit more texture. Create a little bit texture like this. Maybe it's too big. If they're too big, we can soften it down. So that looks good. Over here, separate it a little bit with the brighter color. And the front over here, I'm going to add a little bit uh, contrast, a little bit warmer color. Like that. I don't want to have it a little bit too smooth. So because I want to look like some dirt at the front over here. A little bit like that. There's not only one way to do a painting. Keep your options open. Start from a charcoal drawing and experiment. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will see you in my next lesson.